This is a demonstration or a display that we have uh, put together to demonstrate or to compare the Mach 3 Sensiflex Rewind Clutch with the Competition's Clutch. Uh, you'll see here that both of these clutches are connected by a common belt to a drive below the table, so they're both seeing the same input. They're both common. Uh, they're both uh, connected to a common air supply and being reacted by identical spring scales. I'm going to turn this on now. Start the drive. So you can see that they're both receiving the same input and neither one is engaged at this point. Now what we're going to show you here is the comparison between smoothness and sensitivity between the Mach 3 clutch, the Sensiflex, and the competition. So as I begin to raise the air pressure, watch the spring scale on the Sensiflex clutch as compared to the competition's clutch. And you'll note that the Sensiflex begins to engage very smoothly, much earlier and much less violently than the competition. So we're approaching 4 PSI, which is about where the Mach 3 will begin to engage. And you can see the spring scale is gradually beginning to move. You'll note there's been no change over here. And as we go up, we're still increasing in a very smooth manner by small increments in air pressure change. Very smooth, seamless. When we, we're now up to almost 6 PSI, Still haven't seen any movement over here. I suspect when we get close to 7 PSI that the competitor's clutch will begin to engage and rather abruptly. You watch this spring scale. Here we are, just there it goes. It just began. And it nicely demonstrates now the second feature that we want to uh, point out, and that is the smoothness. Uh, compared to Sensiflex with the competition. This is a typical pulsing you see with, uh, with their clutch. You don't have any of that with ours and they both reacted the same way, the same spring scale. So it's not fixed in any way. And this is true through the speed range. These are running fairly slowly. But if you slow it down you get the same thing or speed it up and it's still the same thing. Here again we're still nice and steady, very smooth. And to go back, once again, for very small changes in air pressure you'll see a gradual change in the tension. Whereas this tension is all over the place. Now the last thing we want to talk about here is the way these things are constructed, the, the difference in the construction in terms of heat dissipation. You'll notice that with the Mach 3 Sensiflex, the highest speed member is the ventilated portion of this, whereas the ventilated portion on this model is the one that is the slower RPM. Obviously the more air you can pass over the uh, surfaces the more it will cool itself so you want to have the higher speed half of the clutch running at the higher arc courses of the input RPM. So Mach 3 makes two versions one for a pilot input and one for a shaft input which have the ventilated member always running at the higher speed. That, that covers this demonstration once again it's just pointing out smoothness sensitivity and ventilation.